How's it going guys? Dylan from Luxury Lives On and I hope everyone's doing well today. SUVs used to be the topic of, well, being boring, practical, driving your kids to soccer practice and, well, roof racks. And, well, I'm here to tell you today that that is no longer the truth. In fact, many car brands have identified that they want to get into the SUV market. It probably all started with Porsche with the introduction of the Cayenne. And, well, everyone thought that was going to be the demise of Porsche, just like, well, the cup holders was the demise of the sports car. But it really wasn't. There's tons of generations of the Cayenne that have come out. And now, today, I'm here to tell you that there's a new introduction to the group, and, well, they're probably the most exotic of all of them. Lamborghini. Now they've brought out the Urus, and today we have a private showing of that exact car. We are officially in front of the brand new Lamborghini Urus and well, it's outrageous, but for once it's not in lime green or orange or red. It's actually in a very subtle graphite color and it looks absolutely unbelievable. There's like over a billion angles on this car, but for some reason it all seems to work together. It's actually a very smooth, rounded and good looking car. And I'll take you around it right now. The surprising thing, guys, is there's actually been a Lamborghini SUV before the Urus. It was actually the LM002. It was meant for the Italian military. It had a detuned Countach engine, and it was, well, equally outrageous. But I think this one was, well, more meant for Beverly Hills than the military. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's not orange, green, or yellow. It's boring, right? I think the graphite works because the car is pretty crazy. I mean, look at all the vents. There's a vent at every inch. There's pretty much an angle at every inch too. I mean, the car looks like bloody origami for Christ's sake. I mean, just look at the door even. There's like a million angles and well, no frames over the windows. It just looks sexy. And you have monster truck wheels, 22 inch monster truck wheels. And well, they're pretty sexy too because there's very little wheel when you think about it. The spokes are very tiny and you can see a lot of the disc in the caliper. But speaking of calipers, well, this is a big one. This has to be the biggest caliper I've ever seen. And well, the discs are pretty much dinner plates. Coming to the rear, we see probably the sexiest LED taillights I've ever seen as well. A awesome diffuser, more angles, of course, and almost Huracan exhaust pipes. But just looking at the profile of this car, it's just kind of resolved honestly considering everything that's going on now moving on to the interior the front specifically this is where all the tech is and yes there is tech in this lamborghini but the coolest thing is the craftsmanship look at these seats they're embroidered everywhere there's so much detail and the coolest thing is it's almost like a tobacco brown color there's so much texture and feel to the seats and that's really the highlight of this car. All the materials are gorgeous. There's Alcantara, leather, aluminum, wood, and the dashboard continues all of that. But the coolest thing now is actually the new display. This is what the display looks like on the Urus. And well, it is technically very Lamborghini, but there's screens everywhere, just as every new car demands today. You have one on a GPS, the climate control, and of course you have your millions of Italian adjective driver modes. Now we're also featuring a controllable four-wheel drive system, even though Lamborghinis have traditionally always been four-wheel drive. Moving on to the rear of the Urus. This has to be the test of every SUV, the forgotten section. And well, you have TVs to entertain those kids so you can get them to shut up on long rides. And well, you actually have a decent amount of room. In addition to that, we have these beautiful textured seats, a Bang & Olufsen sound system, and of course, another screen. But the funniest thing to see is cup holders in a Lamborghini. 
This looks like a charging pad, so they're bringing a little bit of tech into the Italian cars and some storage for your champagne. People, when they say don't give the keys to a candy shop to a kid, this is what they mean. This is the ordering suitcase, and this allows you to see all the materials you can choose from in the Urus, whether it be carbon fiber, wood, or aluminum. And these are the leather colors, pretty much Skittle colors, and you well, are allowed to make your car as stupid as you so please because, well, they offer pretty much every single color. Huge thank you to O'Gara of La Jolla for letting me check out the brand new Lamborghini Urus. It's crazy seeing Lamborghinis, let alone Lamborghini SUVs. And well, although this car is probably incredibly fast, I think obviously the coolest thing about it is the way it looks. There are angles on every inch of the car, but for some reason it still looks resolved and sexy. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.